Today, I'm gonna show you how to dress yourself so you can look slimmer. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. My goal through my channel to help you look like the very best version of yourself. Today I wanna to focus on some style tips and tricks that can really help you to look slimmer, longer, leaner. I know that I am not a large person. In fact, I have talked extensively recently about my journey to lose 15 pounds during menopause. I'll put links to those videos in case you miss them. I don't know where you are in your journey with your body. You know, I don't know if you're feeling really crappy right now. I don't know if you you've got 10 pounds to lose or 50 pounds to lose, or if you're feeling like you're svelte and ready to go. No matter where you are in your journey, these style tips and tricks can help you. I used to style women one-on-one -on -one, and I styled not like supermodels or models size two women. I style women of all shapes and sizes. And so these are universal tips that will help you no matter whether you're a size two or you're a size 22. So try them you'll see and then you'll comment and say hey i tried it and it worked i guarantee it i've already done two of these videos if you miss them this is sort of like version three so you should go back and watch those other two after the after you watch this video those are great videos too but this one is more of an extension of those first two so i would definitely go back and watch those first two tip number one is to layer light over dark in this first example i'm wearing a white tunic with white jeans, white mules, and a gray BB Dakota lightweight moto jacket over it. There's nothing wrong with this outfit. It's perfectly fine, but it's not going to be as slimming as if I flip flop this combination. And let's take a look. So instead of doing the dark over light, let's switch it and do light over dark. So here's an example of, I'm wearing a pair of J brand, Natasha jeans in black, a black top with a white moto jacket over it. And again, I have on black mules to finish off the look. So you can see in these two examples side by side that the light over the dark is definitely more elongating and slimming, making me look longer, slimmer, and taller. Which if, especially you're in this place where you don't feel like quite yourself or you've got a few extra pounds or extra 10, 20 pounds, this is gonna do a lot to help you feel better and look better. So think about when you're doing some layering, layering the light over the dark versus the other way around. Tip number two to look slimmer, longer, taller is the combination of a short top with longer bottoms, making it look like you have a shorter torso and longer legs, creating that illusion. Even if you don't, even if you're totally proportionate or the other way around, you have a longer torso and shorter legs, we can cheat that, we can fake a shorter torso and longer legs. So first, let's take a look at the before, which is the opposite. It would be these light skinny jeans, the gray light skinny jeans, black pumps with this gray long tunic. If I simply take this tunic and tuck it in, these are high rise jeans, I am creating more length in the legs. I am creating the illusion that I have a shorter torso and longer legs. You can see when they're side by side that when I have my top tucked in, I definitely look slimmer. I can see a waist, my legs look longer. It's a more flattering combination. Now there may be some of you who have tummies who can't tuck in your tunic, there is nothing wrong with the option on the left. I'm just saying if we want to look as slim and long and tall as possible, then go with the option of making your upper body look shorter and your legs look longer. Another thing you can try, if you do have a belly, and I've talked about this before, just wear a shorter camisole underneath like a crop jacket. And so that will make it look like your upper body shorter give you the tummy forgiveness with that longer shirt underneath, and then you'll still have the longer leg look, but you still have that tummy coverage that you need. If you wanna take this a step further, make your legs look even longer, you should always consider not only dark wash jeans or pants. So we know like black is very slimming, navy is very slimming, dark jeans are very slimming. I talk about those dark jeans with no fading or whiskering being the most elongating and slimming. Let's take it a step further instead of just saying dark wash jeans or dark pants and say straight or wide leg pants or jeans 
instead of skinnies. Because what skinnies do is they cut off the leg at the ankle, whereas if you have a wider leg or a straight leg pant, it's going to elongate the legs even more. So you can take that combination of the short upper body, longer legs even further by doing high rise pants or jeans in a dark color and making sure that the leg silhouette is a straight or a wide leg. Here's an example of me wearing a black kind of lacy Veronica Beard top with those same gray skinny jeans. By simply swapping out the jeans to this pair with the flared leg, it's a fit and flare pair of high rise jeans. This also happened to be by Veronica Beer. They're really old, probably sold out, but we can put options below for you if you're interested in a pair of fit and flare jeans. There's actually a pair in the Nordstrom sale by Frame called Le High. Look at how much slimmer I look and how much longer my legs look with the wider jeans. Just remember that if you are trying to kind of put your best foot forward and look as long and tall and lean and slim as possible, not only do you want a darker color on the lower body, but then you also want to think about the rise. You also want to think about how, how, how can I truncate my torso and make the legs look even longer? And then the leg silhouette, like straight, fit and flare, wide. That's how you, that's what you should gravitate toward when you want to create the illusion of longer legs and a longer body. The next tip is to try all neutral looks. In a lot of my videos, I've talked about wearing all black, wearing a monochromatic look. We all know that if you dress monochromatically, it definitely makes you look slimmer, longer, taller. But usually we talk about wearing a black or a navy. Now, as you get older, those colors may not be as flattering for you anymore. Like black can be pretty harsh on some people. Instead, maybe going for a monochromatic look that is all neutral. So I wanted to show you an example of an all neutral look that is very elongating. Here's a set, by the way, it's in a kind of a beigey taupe color with a lot of ruching and a knot front tee. And then I paired that with some Python sandals by Dolce Vita. If I pair this with a black skirt, now black, remember, traditionally very slimming, with the most slimming color. If I pair these with a black skirt, I think that the all neutral look actually makes me look slimmer than when I break it up, break up the line and wear the black skirt. What do you think? I think the all neutral look is more slimming, but also I think it looks more sophisticated and I think it looks more high end and luxurious than wearing that black skirt. The last tip I wanted to share with you guys is to make strategic shoe choices because your shoe choice has a major impact on a lot of things not just looking slimmer, looking longer, looking taller, looking more youthful, looking more modern, looking more expensive, all of it. Big deal. Don't just throw it away. Don't just say, it mm, doesn't really matter. It does. I wanted to give you an example of a pair of shoes that I wear all the time. They're C by Chloe wedges. They are the highest heels that I own. They're like four and a half inches. With this ankle strap and the skirt, you can see the shoes are really cutting off the leg. I'm gonna take a lower heel that doesn't have an ankle strap, it's just a, a classic pump, these are by Ann Taylor, and you can see how much longer my body looks and the legs look. Isn't that amazing? Like just a simple shoe switch. I, by the way, brought these wedges with me to Paris and wore them with this exact skirt. So I really love this combination. But if my goal is to look as streamlined and slim and long as possible, I'm gonna go with a deeper cut shoe, more like a pump or a slingback or a ballet flat pointed toe or something that's cut lower on the foot versus higher on the foot, and also something that doesn't have a strap at the ankle or at the top of the foot, because that is gonna cut off your leg. It's gonna make you look a little stumpier, not as tall, not as long, not as lean, and not as slim. Even if I put on the same concept as these pumps, but with the flat version, even that is very elongating, especially with the skin tone color. So that's another thing to think about, wearing shoes, especially if you're wearing a skirt or dress, that are in a color that matches your skin tone. Now, if I have on a pair of black pants, 
or dark jeans, I probably want to wear dark shoes because that's going to keep the line longer. So just thinking about what you're wearing and making those shoe choices strategically to go with what you're wearing so that you can create as much length as possible and also look slimmer. I just did a video focusing on comfort shoes. So if you do kind of only wear comfort shoes exclusively, this video is made for you. I go through and I show you kind of the bad comfort shoe versus the good comfort shoe and which pairs are more fashion forward. And so that's a must watch video and I will put a link to that below in the description box. This top, by the way, is the one that I featured in my tummy video. Remember that one I did recently? It's the frame top that has the rounded hem. It's a beautiful blouse. I told you guys it's like a heavy hitter for me. I wear it all the time. It is a little more complicated to care for, you know, when you've got a silky, nice fabric. Usually they say dry clean only, but I traditionally will wash something in, a, um, in cold with a gentle detergent and then hang to dry and then steam it. The skirt is an old skirt from Club Monaco, so I don't think it's available anymore but we'll try to link one that's similar if you guys are interested in that skirt. Don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter to get a ton of really useful, helpful freebies. I've got the wardrobe basics checklist that you get. You get a lookbook. You get closet editing and organizing checklists. You get Zoom call tips. It is so worth signing up and we'll put a link to that below in the description box. So you just sign up with your email and then you get all of those resources sent to your inbox. Let's look back for a second on our five slimming tips. Layer your light colors over your dark. Create a short top, longer bottom. Take it a step further and make sure you do dark wash jeans or dark pants in a straight or wide leg fit. Do try monochromatic looks in all neutral color tones. Very elegant, very luxe looking. And then lastly, make those shoe choices very strategically and thoughtfully. Hope that was helpful. You guys are amazing. I love you all. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.